So, uh, we start off at the Ben Lawers car park. We're going to do Milnan Parmican today, just over a thousand metres. Uh, £3 for the car parking, unless you're part of the National Trust, which I think it might be free. Um, we'll let you know what it's like for kids. So we water features at the Lawers range, I think it really adds to it. This is us just starting. Kids are just ahead, so it's a nice, easy start out of the car park. Great views at a large range. So you come to the first fork in the road, there's a path to the left and right, you walk straight through, and you see this sign. Head up here, and just behind there will be the peak, and you can choose to go uh, kind of clockwise back around the car bridge if you chose to, but not what plans for us today. So, hopefully, not too windy in the, the voiceover. But basically, I'd say that's the first big phase one done. You come up on what looks like the shoulder, so straight through, you see the guys walking ahead there. I'm sure it walks up over there. I'll just show you where the wind dies down. If you look back, you can see the dam over to the large range and then down to Loch Tay. And just in the haze, I think that's Stuck of Croin and uh, Stuck of Croin there and Thor Lake over there. So I think that's maybe wrong, but that's the bridge. Path. I must say a really good path, really safe, a bit steep at points, but overall So it's quite a grassy pull up here, quite steep, a great path, and then I assume somehow forks its way round to the left. As you can see, quite a steep session, section coming up. Extremely windy today. Say cheese! So I think this is the top up there. Um, we'll let you know. So this looks like the only bit of path that is a bit steep. Uh, it looks like one of the final sections, but we'll let you know how it goes when we get there and how suitable it is for um, certainly young Everly, who's only four. Finally, lead it up with it. So this is a uh, lunch stop at the bottom before the final push up. How's your sandwiches, everyone? Good, yum, yum. Ah! We've got a nice view, it's well sheltered and you can look over to Ben Wars and Big uh, Glass. So you'll probably hear a lot of wind because it's incredibly windy, so this is snow. Way around to Ben Vorlick. That section was quite steep, but you're really quite safe. You know, even in a high wind, 25 30 mile an hour runs easy, and the section was okay. Just need to make sure you can hold on to the, the little one. Everybody, see what I'm feeling that time again! Amazing! It's so windy! Ridge. I can hardly hold my phone, so I'm going to be quick. All the way down to. Ah! Ben Down to Long Tay. So the wind's died down a little bit here. The sun's come out. Probably not give too much video on the way down. We'll get back to the car It's been quite exhilarating up top. Everybody's loved it. There's Lorna and Finlay coming back down. And that's where we came. Really great for kids, a few steep sections, but nothing, uh, nothing too dangerous to worry about. Finlay expertly navigating quite a steep downward path. This is probably the only bit that I would really caution. Just be really careful if you've got young kids. Finlay's seven and he's he's doing really well, but coming down, obviously, there's a higher chance that you could fall forward. So you just need to be careful. But he's doing brilliant. Really proud of him.
So that's us just following the path back. The wind's really dropped down, which is nice. You can see the car park, it's a sort of winding road back. You can't miss it. Um, not overly steep. And I'll uh, sum up how long it took and how suitable it is for kiddies when I get back to the car park. So that's us back to the car park. Did it three hours fifty before. That included quite a long break for lunch. Uh, as I say, it's um, well over a thousand metres. Really good path, a bit steep at the top. Really windy at the top, but the wind's died away now. Really good visibility.